The saga continues, and I am dropping receipts and names of the other content creators that were involved in Julia's hate campaign this morning. As a quick recap, Julie assembled a group of content creators to mass report me, dox me, and ultimately have me targeted by the Mexican Sea out in Mexico. We know that the ringleader is Julia. Here is a new receipt of her specifically instructing her followers and these other content creators what to post in the local Vallarta groups. And these, these were worded in a way to paint me out to be a thief and a scammer to the local community, which landed in the hands of the Mexican seat being tagged um, to notify them that I needed to be pretty much intervened, AKA targeted. Co-defendant number one, Yesenia Hernandez, as you can see, she was an active participant, not only knew what was going on in this group, but also had some comments of her own to make regarding the domestic violence incident. Notice the date, September 18th, 10.30 a.m. was about five hours after I had posted that I was the victim of strangulation. Pictures of my injuries were shared and some comments were made comparing them to the weekly hickeys that she receives on her twin size air mattress every weekend. The boyfriends of these content creators also took part in the mocking my injuries. The next one up on the chopping block is Yesenia Garcia MUA. As you can see here, she admitted to having a million fake accounts that she was using to report me and create hateful content as part of this hate campaign. You can pause to read this next one, but as you can see, Candice Aguarita is mentioned in this group chat. There's a comment made saying, F Annie, I'm coming for her neck. Candice and I were previously mutuals. This is the last correspondence that I had with her, February of last year. Shortly after this, she removed me as a friend and unfollowed me. And this year, as soon as the receipts started coming in, she blocked me. The only thing I can say about Candace is I never mentioned her in any of my content, even in my responses to this hate campaign. And if she received any trolling or harassment, it was not done at my direction. And I believe it was done just for the sole fact that she was friends with Julia. And at the time, Julia was creating very hateful content about me. One of her mods by the name of Connie, who I have no idea who that is, as you can see, was very active. Here you can see um, I was reported 22 times in one of my lives in an effort to bring down my platform. Save the best for last. Um, here's a confirmation that I was looking for, which I already knew, that Julia had connected with Michelle and Sabrina. And if you don't know who that is, those are two women from Utah who had an active hand in my deportation in 2018. One of them is Walter's other baby mama and one of them is Walter's brother's girlfriend. As you can see, I was actively trying to block all of these accounts that were trolling me. Here you see Yesenia telling her, make a new email. That's how you make hella TikTok accounts. And that's all I got for this morning so far. Now before any of you tell me this is old, let it go. Let me just reiterate that the lies are old. The truth is brand new for me. And all of these receipts have been coming full circle, giving me closure to understand why things happened to me the way that they did last year. Some of them are still very triggering. When I see those comments made about my DB and how these women were just laughing, <laughs> laughing at my trauma, you know, orchestrating my downfall, preying on my downfall every morning, actively engaging in the trolling, their reporting, to see Julia specifically instruct how to word those posts that landed in the local Vallarta groups that, you know, ended up in, in the part in the sea, the Mexican Sea, being tagged so that I would come under their spotlight and I would be targeted along with my children. There's, you know, this is crazy. Um, I never knew any of these girls existed prior to this. I didn't know who Yesenia was. I didn't know who the other Yesenia was. I didn't know who Julia was. Um, I received notice that I don't have the screenshots, but the Alexis Tervando was also an active participant who I used to follow. Again, I don't know if Candace was an active participant, but I do know that she had knowledge of Julia's side of the story, which I believe led her to unfollow me. Um, I don't have any animosity towards her. This isn't to direct hate to any of these creators. It's just to bring light that that's what their platforms were used for. And this did result in a lot of lost to me and my children financially emotionally mentally these women really had me contemplating putting my five children back on an airplane to the states because i was afraid 